Three players who have transferred from other schools, he said, you know, we're still trying to feel each other out, but Sphere's daughter is really the hallmark of consistency. It's while she run the point. And she's skilled at that position. You can see that she's not afraid of the pressure. Finds TK LaFleur for that nice little easy shot. What a great start for TCU. The 5'8 guard out of Houston, Texas, gets the first two points for TCU. Again, saying, hey, we can score, Maryland. And right now, Maryland in their half-court offense can be very, very good. I think they're going to have to feel out TCU's defense here, see what's going to be open. There is Tolliver. As we mentioned, she needs just three assists to become in that situation. Just a missed pass. How much of a gamble is it for Jeff Mitty to have his 6-1 sophomore run the point? He takes the size out of the paint. Well, she'll get down in the paint on the offensive ends at times. She's just going to start at the point guard position. But here's where you can see where Spears start is really valuable. It's 6-1. Runs the floor, has great vision. And she has a great compliment. And TK LaFleur, her second basket, she's now got four. Yeah, and one of the hard things, I think, for Maryland right now is it's so tough to, guard, to scout TCU. I mean, you don't have game film from, from last year. And even if you did, it's a completely different team. So a lot of these things may be surprising to Maryland, and they're going to have to adjust. Last year, Maryland 33-4. 13 and 1 in the conference that was good enough for second in the ACC went all the way to the Elite Eight. Shot from the outside, trying to open up, and that's Spears' daughter. Maryland won't have a fast, a fast break situation if you knock down shots. So you can keep Maryland in a half court situation and make people give the ball up, rebound down the basketball. You know, you can stay in it. They look for the quick hit out of the timeout. They didn't get it. The rebounding wars go to TCU, and now they'll push the ball up the floor. There's Ebony Mangum. We talked about her having an ACL that's torn in her right knee, number 24, White. Keep an eye on her through this game. She looked great in practice with the ball right there. Yeah, she was touch and go. The 12-footer doesn't go. Rebound for Maryland, and it is the big freshman Kaiser who comes down with the board. And one of the things right now that we're seeing from Maryland in the rhythm, Coleman really hasn't had a chance to get any easy shots yet. Sears got her looking for some help. She finally gets some, but not enough for Manga. Turnover, Manga uses the glass. And just another turnover right there by Coleman. Uh, good job of trying to get the outlet, but just didn't see the defense. A 9-0 run for the Lady Frogs. This is exactly what Jeff Mitty wanted. He said, we need to come out and play with confidence in the first five minutes. I, we, our kids need that. Confidence they have. That's Micah Guru with her first basket of the game. And that's something Micah has uh, had the ability to do in the past. Micah Guru last year asked just to play in the, on the low block back to the basket. She'll step out now and take that shot. Maryland said, we know we need to work on the defensive end. We thought we had it shored up offensively. Kaiser, she is a pure shooter, one of the best shooters that the coaching staff, staff said they've ever seen, men, male or female. Wow, which says a lot. Again, the aggressive man-to-man -man defense by Maryland. Off the mark, LaFleur, and again, transition defense key for the Lady Frogs. Jeff Mitty said, hey, it really depends on how much we can run with them and get back. Tolliver, executive shots in a row. A little bit of a perfectionist. Yeah, and that's what you have when you have a player that plays at the level that Tolliver does. She is a perfectionist and demands that from herself every single day. Every shot has to be perfect. And you know what they say? Practice makes perfect. No, perfect practice makes perfect. And, that, and she is the epitome of that. Rachel Rentschler sets the screen for Spears' daughter. That is to Rentschler. TK LaFleur. Now the black line. TK LaFleur behind both of them about a foot. The men's distance, 20 feet, 9 inches. The women stays at 19.9. A lot of coaches say, hey, this is just going to confuse our athletes. We're not really sure which line we're supposed to be standing behind. Mingo just lets it go. And again, Maryland cold in the early going from long distance. Another weak side board. That's Coleman. Quickly gets it out to Tolliver, who again is trying to run. Tolliver is a great scorer. She is known for that first, but 7.4 assists per game last season she averaged and really has good court vision, able to find her great teammates and pretty unselfish with the basketball. 
And some good guard play by TCU of their own. Connecting TK LaFleur. All right, now Maryland really needs to guard personnel a little bit better. TK LaFleur definitely capable of shooting. Sphere's daughter is all around player. Seven points now for LaFleur. 24 under two minutes to go in the first half. TCU has led from the start. And interesting now, Wiley Gatewood is guarding Hel Helena Spears' daughter. And a great choice right there by Helena. Take her down low, back her down on the block, and use her size against the smaller Wiley Gatewood. Kaiser. A good dish. Maryland can't finish. Maryland's guards 29 to 4 in the first half. And remember, those are two preseason all ACC players in Christy Tolliver and Marissa Coleman. 29 to 4. And TCU goes right back at it. TK LaFleur from long distance. Oh, and you know what? TK can shoot that shot. You've got to get a hand in her face. And Strickland right now. To direct traffic to her teammates. Tough though when you don't have the ball in your hands. And again, Lyles right there is the one that was the decision maker. And number 13 was making the pass on the interior. That's what TCU wants. They want the decision makers to be the people that normally don't make the decisions. Wow! TK! In that Saturday, November 22nd, only on the mountain. And will it be great about that? That's a, a, a one day that uh, the Mountain Network is dedicating to high definition in their football games. The studio shows will be live at the site. So in Laramie, Wyoming, in Salt Lake City, and big day for the Mountain, just giving it a try in high definition. Maryland highly touted coming into this season. They look at the polls. They are among top ten depending upon what poll you look at. Adjustments that can have a little more energy right now. Get their guards involved, have more energy, and really try to take control of this game right now. Comes TCU and Spheres Donner. Off the dribble. And nothing there. Score low, as low as possible. TK LaFleur on the charity stripe. The 5'8 junior guard out of Houston, Texas. She is one of four transfers on the Lady Frogs coming from the University of Nebraska. She sat out last season and they were excited for Coleman. So she will spend some time on the bench. And Maryland's got to play catch up with her out of the game. A 15-point deficit for the Terps right now. Tolliver thought about it, looking for a screen off her foot. Jump ball. And Tolliver very frustrated right now. And if you look, they're leaving number 13, Lyles, pretty much wide open at the top of the key. Rachel Rentschler, Michaela Younger, packing that lane defensively for TCU. When you're playing that caliber of opponent, that is that is incredibly impressive. I mean, obviously, at the highest level of the women's game right now. Weak side rebound, TCU. They continue to work the glass. Outside shot, not falling by LaFleur. Coleman looking for some help. Again, TCU getting back defensively. Nice job. Flooding the lane. Leaving Lyles open at the top of the key, so there's really kind of two people guarding that low block. And again, decision making, decision making, decision making. TK LaFleur is not afraid to pull the trigger. A 49 34 lead for TCU. They have led from the start of this game. They ran out to an 11-0 run, and they have never trailed the University of Maryland Terrapins. 17 points, and we've got a great one for you. TCU leading the University of Maryland 54-36. Tracy Warren, along with Andrea Lloyd and our entire Mountain Network crew, the Lady Frogs have led from start to this point on, and they have not let up. And I was about to say, you know, we have a great one here. Well, I think that TCU would classify it as a great one. I'm not sure Maryland would right now. Maryland being put to the to win the Mountain West Conference, and the way TCU is playing, I think it's anybody's conference. Tolliver. 
the turnover last year, and they wanted her to expand her role. She converts on two. It's now an 11-point lead. And a quick shot by TCU and a quick connection by TK LaFleur. Tolliver. Again. I want the ball out of, out of her hands. TCU was rated to have the fourth toughest non-conference schedule this season. And I'll tell you, they play like that. And TK LaFleur and company can beat a lot of teams. Yeah, and it's, that wasn't a very complex thing that TCU just did. Just a little on-the-ball screen for TK LaFleur. Nobody steps up and helps. Coleman. I'm worried about TCU's offense as much as I'm worried about the fact, are they going to continue their defense? Are they going to allow Maryland to score a lot of points here in the last three minutes? Coleman cuts the lead to 14. Just over three minutes to go. TK LaFleur from three-point land. Pressure, hand in her face. She's looked very, very confident out there. The 5A junior guard transfer out of the University of Nebraska has lit it up for 24 points. On every single time, if you watch her shot, she's got her feet set, ball in the same position every time. Looks very smooth out there, not rushing anything. Calm, poised, confident. You get a little bit overconfident, you're not quite prepared for games, and you get a game like this where where somebody beats, beats you pretty well if they go on to win this game. And if you can learn from something from it, you can have a great rest of a season. Tolliver now in double figures with 11. 2.25 to go. Is there enough game left for the Terrapins? And TK LaFleur trying to Take some time off the clock. Ten seconds now on the shot clock. Looking for a screen. She gets one from John. She'll take it herself. Wow! TK LaFleur is on fire. And Maryland's Coleman answers with a great amount of poise. They played with such great poise. TK LaFleur with the ball. Spears' daughter, even Ebony Mangum. Full court pressure from... Maryland's and Tolliver a tough day for